Genesis, our home by the sea. It's really a sailor song or anybody whose life is entwined to the sea. In a studio is Mangesh Gogre, very interesting character, a spiritual columnist, an investment banker, and also an international crossword constructor. Conversation with him. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Hi, buddy. How are you? Wonderful to see you. I am good. Thanks for calling me here. A mechanical engineer and then an MBA and by profession an investment banker. When did you actually find that you had an inclination towards spirituality and when did you actually decide that you want to be writing about spiritual needs, causes, thoughts? Um, so as I was going through my engineering and MBA college days, uh, I was preparing for my MBA exams and there's one section particularly in the MBA exams which is about reading comprehension. And I used to come across these very difficult essays written by some you know, God forsaken people who used to write exotic articles about spirituality and I used to wonder and we had to answer some questions after reading those articles so I used to wonder who writes these and I eventually realized that even I could think on those lines so post my MBA days I started thinking about and I have a very good brain which correlates things so I'm very good at correlating one thing in the other one world to the other so I had this electronic so the first article which I wrote for the speaking tree was actually written for me for myself uh, it basically correlated the concepts of one and zero in in electronic engineering to religiosity and spiritual spirituality so it was connecting two different things so I wrote an article about it uh, I wrote about I wrote and it was with me for almost a year and I did nothing about it but I had a, a friend later in in Times of India and she somehow passed on that article to uh, Jok Suraya who is a well-known editor and he then passed on to the editor of Speaking Tree and uh, my dream came true when one day I wake up and the paper whom I had grown up reading about was actually carrying my article. So that was my first tryst with uh, words, seeing my name in print and uh, then you know it, I just never looked back, I wrote many of them, uh, then I, I correlated uh, like differential calculus, something we learn in maths again to something we relate to in life later I learned how to swim so I wrote an article how swimming teaches you how to lead your life uh, later I also wrote about how somebody who is a DJ uh, tells you how to how to run your life so even your DJ uh, can tell you how to run your life you sometimes play a sad song sometimes plays a very peppy song and you actually dance to his tunes and that's what life is uh, every day you wake up you have a new tune to play to dance too. So you're saying science and spirituality are intertwined. They're not separate from each other. People say left brain thinker, right brain thinker. Absolutely. You disagree. <laughs> yes. So I, I somehow, so in fact, that brings me to another editorial I wrote in Times of India about how the Indian education system completely focuses on the left side. Uh, this was way back in, you know, 10 years back. I wrote about how we need to become, how, I, how our brains need to take a right turn, how uh, spirituality, creativity, art is not that focused. So I'm good. I'm happy that uh, my kids, when they are in school now, that that part of the brain is also being trained to think. The Counting Crows, and Mr. Jones, Mangesh Gogre is in studio. He's an international crossword constructor as well as spiritual columnist. Apart from being an investment banker, Shoop by the Salt and Pepper Girls. Mangesh Gogre is in studio, an international crossword constructor. Let's find out more about that. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Radio now this is a more uh, down the investment banker alley. When did you get fascinated with crosswords? Were you always doing them as a child with the morning paper? Uh, so I, I, so crossword is my. If you go by, if you go by number of years, crossword is my first profession. I have spent more years doing crosswords than investment banking. So I started my my love for crosswords in my engineering days at VJTI Mumbai. And again, I was preparing for GRE, GMAT, and I got to know of something called as a word list. And that word list remained for me with me for life. And uh, to improve our vocabulary, that day, uh, that and that year, in those days, uh, Times of India used to publish a crossword on the last page. Uh, in those times, there were no supplements. There was only one paper used to come, and we used to sit that uh, sit and do that crossword. Now we realized that that crossword was uh, directly imported from US. It originally published in Los Angeles Times, and we used to wonder about because you know crossword is a very local thing. 
so most of the clues were uh, you know local the answers were local many of the time many of the times it happened that i got to know the answer the next day and still i didn't couldn't figure out why is the clue that so like for example they you they will use slangs like do for money or you know they will have like local lakes like lake erie in us is like is like ganga in india it's so popular but and those and remember in 1997 there was no google in india there was no you know fancy internet everywhere flowing around so we used to wonder okay what is this what is that so uh, that's how i got my love and uh, i used to travel uh, from panvel to all the way my college so that one hour of commute one and a half hour of commute was my crossword time crossword is a very private love so you don't need anybody else to make a, to do a crossword unlike other sport sometimes it's a negative but uh, i used to relish so i i actually solved crosswords for 12 years every day in the times of india wow 12 years and uh, i remember the first one when i completely solved the crossword in times of india was almost after around 8 years so i i kept at it i used to have detailed notes i used to write you know love letters to myself about what answer is where and where where have i seen it before I actually knew lot of US just because of the crosswords. So is is it true they say that if you do sudoku or you do uh, your crosswords it helps keep dementia away especially for people who are slightly older. Absolutely uh, I have read a lot of research especially in recent times which supports that theory. Uh if if you want to talk about theory one more thing people also very you know confidently say is that people who are very good at rhythm or math are very good at crosswords. because crosswords again is rhythm uh if you look at international crosswords they are all symmetric so they look upside down east to west they look the same and that i realized when i was when i took my career from solving to constructing so i i looked at each crossword 12 years and i always used to see a foreign byline never have i seen an indian byline so i got i i took up this challenge that i want to see my name here So I after 12 years of solving took to solve uh making crosswords. Wonderful. Asha is back here he is with Luke Steele looking for myself. Mom Mangesh Gogre an international crossword constructor up ahead. John May your body is a wonderland fascinating man in studio a mechanical engineer who does his MBA then becomes a spiritual columnist but basically his heart is in crosswords an international crossword constructor is Mangesh Gogre. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. The Kalagoda Annual uh, Arts and Culture Festival actually gave you a 9-day showing of crosswords. How did that come about? Talk to me about that. Uh yeah, very interesting. Uh I think the first person I need to thank is uh, Brenda Miller, uh the director and the curator of the festival. So, uh you know, I just cold cold mailed into her that I have this interesting idea that uh you know, I want to showcase art. I want to showcase crossword as an art. Now, a lot of people do not know what goes into making a crossword. Uh she agreed. That was very nice of her. And uh so I showed all my crosswords. Uh so she gave me an art gallery at uh, opposite Jahangir Art Gallery and at Artist Center and all of 9 days my crosswords were just the crosswords. I I mean I don't know how many people can even imagine going to an art gallery to see crosswords. but uh, if if you actually see them you will see that there is art uh it there's a lot of work which goes into it and uh that's I, that's what i wanted to show because uh, you know india is the largest speaking uh, english in largest country with largest population which speaks english and i think crossword is one of the best forms of art of playing with language after prose and poetry if you can take language somewhere it's crosswords and if we as a country uh you know i think it was not fair that people don't even know that this form of entertainment for language exists now you've been published in prestigious dailies like the new york times the wall street journal los angeles times you've also been invited by the new york times crosswords editor to be a judge at the american crossword tournament so how did that happen did you again cold mail or did you see <laughs> your work no so um so i started so the way i went about constructing was uh, as i said before the crossword in times of india came from la times so my first destination was la times because i eventually wanted the same crossword to be published in times of india and i wanted to solve that on the same train which i took <laughs> so uh i i wrote to the editor of uh, la times uh and uh, so my first crossword actually took me 2 years to make 
uh, I, it took me lot of iterations, almost 50 iterations before I got an acceptance. So uh, the crossword, uh, there is a lot, there's a big queue for crosswords to get published. Uh, the standards are very high. Uh, most of the crossword solvers in the US are, uh, most of them are IT, IT experts, uh, scientists, people who think on the right side of the brain. So their standards are pretty high. So the first one was published, uh, if I remember right, in 2009. And uh, that was the best day of my life. Uh, I was paid a princely sum of uh, 85 US dollars. So that check is still with me and I think it will remain for the next generation. So that was the first time I published and then I published uh, almost uh, five or six more in LA Times. Uh, I then graduated to Wall Street Journal. That was again a big high for me because Wall Street Journal is like, uh, for an investment banker, it was the paper you admire. Uh, that's where uh, deals are made and uh, reported. So that's where my crossword came about. Lovely. Listen, hang on to that thought. We're going to come back and chat some more with Mangesh Gogre, international crossword constructor, crosswords editor. It's Labouche, Be My Lover. 90s dance mania with Labouche and Be My Lover. Mangesh Gogre is an international crossword constructor and editor. And he was just telling me about how he got published in the WSJ, the Wall Street Journal. More conversation. This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Mangesh, when did you really feel you had arrived? I mean, the Wall Street Journal happened, but there is a moment uh, where all of us can say, man, this is it. <laughs> this is as fulfilling a life as it can get. And then the, the holy grail in crosswords is the New York Times. Uh, the New York Times is like the Oscars. And that's where when my first crossword was published, uh, I was on top of the world. And that's when, uh, so I was actually interviewed by the New York Times blo on the on the blog that uh, I was, uh, you know, the first from India who has, was based in India to have a crossword published in New York Times. Uh, New York Times, uh, the crossword is like, uh, it has a lot of prestige. Uh, Bill Clinton is one of the most famous fans of crossword. In fact, uh, there is one movie made in the US called World Wordplay, uh, which is only dedicated for crosswords. Okay, I got to ask you, is there any book that you can suggest that people can read if they want to improve their crossword skills or do you just learn on the job or while mm -hmm. solving crosswords? Uh, as I said, uh, there are no shortcuts in crosswords. Uh, the best way to learn is to do crosswords every day and to see the solution next day. That I think is the best way because books will teach you, uh, you know, rather book, there are books for construction, but for solving, you need to solve them every day. If you If you ask any crossword solver, he will give you the same answer because it's a small world. There are a limited number of people who make crosswords and you need to understand how they think, uh, how they, you know, how they look at crosswords as, as a skill. In the American crossword tournament of, you, of which you were a judge, that must have been an eye-opening experience. Yes. What ages? You're talking young kids right up to senior citizens? Yeah? Yes. So uh, it, it, is, it is the largest crossword tournament in the world uh, organized by the New York Times editor. His name is Will Shorts who in the crossword world is, is, is the god. Uh, so the, the tournament attracts people from all over US and also abroad. Uh, age group it will be from, uh, from 12 to I think 70, 80. In fact, uh, most of the people who, who come there are regular NYT solvers. Uh, so yes, it was an eye opener. Uh, in fact, that was the first time I went to US. So uh, I was very happy that uh, before my work, my, my passion could took, take me to US and being invited by the New York Times was another, uh, another, you know, a blessing in my life. So when I saw their uh, people and their passion, I found out, uh, you know, I have a long way to go. Where can we reach out to you? Do you have a Facebook page? Do you have a Twitter handle? Uh, is there an email where people can get in touch? Yes, so uh, I am available on my email. It's M-A-N-G-E-S-H uh, G-H-O-G-R-E at yahoo.com and I am on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, what's the Twitter handle? M-A-N-G-E-S-H G-H-O Okay, Mangesh, go. Yeah. Thanks very much, mate, and uh, all the best for all your endeavors. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. That's the international crossword constructor, a man who's been published widely across the world, Mangesh Gogre. Messages and back with my guest of the day.